Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is Brent here from Production Expert, and in today's video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how we can use Regroover Pro to extract harmonic content from loops. Now, these days, just about everybody is using loops in their productions because companies like Splice are offering royalty-free samples and you can have almost unlimited uh, loops and samples. And it's a great thing to have, but the problem is a lot of these loops and sometimes sample one-shots you get a congestion of sounds in one sample and you might really enjoy a certain aspect of that sound and would like to maybe extract it. Sadly, that's not possible even if you were to say chop this sample here up into a million pieces, extract it and so on. But with Regroover Pro, which is actually more famously known for beat sequencing and taking out and extracting transient heavy materials such as grooves and beats, we can actually drop in some harmonic content. So here is a loop that I found and I really like the sound of the lead on top, but I also like the roads. Now, the roads would be a little bit easier to recreate with the VST, but I'm not entirely sure what the lead is and it might take me a bit of time and by then I've probably lost the inspiration. So with Regroover, I can really quickly and really intuitively find that sound and tune into it and then get being creative with it straight away. So here's the loop as it started. And here's one I prepared earlier, and I've also got a little bass and groove going at the same time. As you can hear, I've kept everything in the same key. However, I have really changed and transformed that sample into something completely new. So, just how did I go about doing this? That's exactly what I'm gonna show you. So I've got Regroover Pro loaded up here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the sample into Regroover. It's gonna analyze it. And as we can see, it's broken down onto multiple layers. Now we can go about and listen to what each layer is. So this sort of thick material here is more than likely the roads, just because of the frequency range that it was occupying in the sample. Now, as we can hear, it's not quite in sync. So what I'll do is I'll sync this up so it's in the same tempo as my session and the loop, which is 80. So it's, it's actually doubled it. So let's sync it. Cool, so that's better now. And this one here is Rhodes. Just gonna quickly name it so I have a rough idea of where I'm at. And this one doesn't look like it's got a whole lot going on. So let's have a little listen to what's happening within this part on layer two. So that there, I'm actually just going to turn that layer off. And these layers here, I think are gonna be both leads. I'm gonna show you what you can do if it extracts multiple cases on the two different layers. So let's have a quick listen to this. So that's definitely our lead. And what's this layer here? And as I expected, that is also our lead. So these are both leads. Now I wanna put these both on one layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock off the roads layer. I'm gonna lock this as well, even though it's uh, disengaged. And then what I can do is I can come over here and hit this eraser tool, double click this region and select the entire width of this um, sample layer. And then if I hit split, it's gonna merge layer four with layer three. Just like that, it's now all on one layer. It's much easier and much um, easier to extract the information. And then how do we go about doing that? So we can do this a number of ways. We can click export and we can take layers as mix down or we can generate a pattern using the grid here. But I actually ended up just playing these sort of MPC style on the expansion kit because I wanted to get something creatively going straight away and not be waiting around for things to sort of technicalities. So it depends on your workflow and it depends with what you're after. But for this session, I just quickly put these on expansion kits and I'm gonna show you how I did that as well. So this first sample here, if I come out with the split mode and I just highlight this part of the information, if we just give you a play. I'm gonna just double click and then what it's done is it's selected a region. So if I pull this back and I pull it to about here, that's a rough estimate. Let's just drag this onto Expansion Kit. 
And then what I can do is I can get a little bit more detail with it if I go in the editor. So if we can see here, here's our waveform, all looks good. I could get creative with it and start doing things like reverse. So it depends how we like the sound of that. And reverse it. So that could be a really nice transitional effect, but I'm going to take it back to what it was. And then what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go over to the envelope section here. So as you're starting to discover, Regroover lets you do a lot of the technical part and the effects processing within this one plugin or instrument because we can actually play using this pad grid here. So I'm going to just give a little gradual fade into this sample. And let's hear how this sounds now. Cool, and the same on the way out, just a slight fade. And effects wise, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of top end around 10K, just so it's got a bit of sheen. Okay, and let's do the same for sample three. So on layer three, our lead, I'm just gonna solo it and hear which part I like. I quite like this bit here, because it sounded quite harmonically rich, but you know, you can always go back and change this sort of thing later on. And I've selected it there, go down the bottom of the waveform. I'm gonna drag it on to D5. I come back in my editor and here we go. So it'll help me later on if I just name these now. So roads and lead. And now let's have a listen to the lead sample. Okay, cool. So down here, we do need to have a look at the waveform. So I'm gonna adjust the start time and let's see how that sounds now. Okay, that sounds better. And let's do the same thing with the envelope. Just fade it in and gradual sort of fade out. Now that'll probably play a lot nicer now. So I'm just gonna have some crazy effect fun here and just see what happens. So as you can hear, we can we can be quite um, creative with the decisions within Regroove. It's not just all extracting the material onto layers. We can actually start to play with samples really quickly. I think that's the best thing about Regroover is uh, it's not just technical. We can become really creative with this and dive into creating new sound sets. So we can take something that was this sample here and turn it into something totally different. And that's what I did with this Regroover here. So I've got an exact duplication of what I just broke down. These are both mapped onto um, pads on the expansion kit, same thing with the editor, and that's when I came up with this melody that I then played in using my keyboard. And nothing else is happening apart from a little bit of effects from Waves H Delay and a brand new Smart Reverb. So as you can hear, this is our final result. Once you start getting creative with it, put it into a bit of a groove, we could easily turn this into an entire song. So all in all, really cool. This is something I'll be using a lot in my productions and I hope that you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one.